Okay, the next step is to do the final step, actually. What I usually do is just pull a little bit out here. Need some for the brush to move around. And it's important to get enough on there to get everything without leaving streaks because it's so thin. All right, we'll go with that. And I got uh, a little bit left over, but I already have another table, which is important. I have another project to work on because uh, you you never can figure out exactly how much you need. Seems like a Try to make it a little bit on the heavier side rather than not having enough. Wish you would have mixed up some more. <clears throat> make sure you get all the rocks. Another thing I, I did before I turned the camera on was I, I used my hand and made sure I got all the loose brush uh, bristles off because those uh, stick in your work and that and if you got any pet hair you want to make sure you uh, have some clean clothes and stuff on or at least some, make sure you don't have any cat hair and stuff that fall in there because that that will wreck your your project or at least it'll drive you nuts maybe some other people won't see it as much but there yet. I don't think I got all that. Alright, and then uh, all I have to do is get in the light here and you can see spots that are drying up real fast or that you missed. Okay. Looks like I got all the rocks. Looks like I got a hair from the brush in here, which is went down in the crack. So there. Um, guess we won't worry about him. Wipe that off. Not that big of a deal if you catch it now. It's not gonna mess up your project. Mess stuff. Um, you just anywhere you touch it, you just as soon as you pull up anything out or your finger or something, it just fills right back in. Alright, we got a ton of bubbles over here. Um, use the hair dryer to move stuff around. Done. Uh, looks pretty 
good. Looks like I got a couple spots here. Better second up the boxes pretty good. Had a bubble? No. Yeah, it was. Pop. Hmm. Oh, there's a bubble again. Yeah, you'll get bubbles that come up, especially if there's any air pockets in these little knotty areas. You shouldn't have to worry about them. They usually pop on their own, being so thin. Okay. Alright, um, then what I usually do too with an extra is if I have any fossils, you can see, you can barely see the fossil in the rock until you start putting something on here. Well, it's kind of weird at how it works. Um, it's really light until it sets on there for a little bit and then it just starts turning a little bit darker. So this is what I do with all my fossil collection. Yeah, I do something with this leftovers. It's bought and paid for, so. And then I'm going to take the rest of the epoxy that I have left, which is quite a bit. And I'm going to put it in another table. So, um, until next time, I'll, I'll get this other table started with this. And we'll make a little bit more video of that table, which you will see all together. So, we'll talk to you later.